what if I never want to be sober? So what if I want to stay numb all the time? Yeah. Guardo, you ready, man? I know it's the eighth time we've shot this friggin' video. I'm kind of sick of it. Anyway, you know, what the heck? Here we go. Hey, this is the After Fight Afterthought for Miguel Cotto and Antonio Margarito. And in this fight, I go over the before, the during, and the after fight for both fighters. And coming into this fight, Miguel Cotto has a grudge. He has a definite vendetta kind of deal in here in what he feels like he is owed. He feels that Margarito cheated him. This is something he has to do for himself and for everyone else. People are wondering whether or not he's going to be able to hold his composure and not get too carried away in there if he uh, sees maybe Margarito gets hurt or he lands some stuff in, or maybe he'll just punch himself out, you know, blow his uh, blow it out early and you know actually really be in trouble. Another thing people are really wondering is how many miles are really left in the tank of Kodo. I mean that beating he took from Margarito and it was a beating was uh, you know a career changing type of fight for a fighter. So you're worried about that. Uh, going over to Antonio Margarito, who who was a loser, so he's the afterthought. Kodo was the after fight. Yeah, I just hope this video makes it. Of course, if you're still watching it by now, that means it did, so why did I bring it up? Anyway, you're looking at Antonio Margarito, and he's got something to prove. I mean, his name has been more than sullied he, after he got caught you know, with the hand wraps in the Mosley fight. So he has to prove to everybody that he, in fact, can do this to Cotto again. He's got to, and if he doesn't, it's going to, you know, pretty much eliminate all his other big wins. Because if you looked at Margarito uh, about six or seven fights out, you know, from that Cotto fight, he was an average fighter. He had already had around four losses. He he wasn't beating uh, the top guys. He in fact he was losing to them. And then the next thing you know, he turns around and all of a sudden he just starts whooping everybody. You know, and, and people are like, wow, this guy's really coming on the scene. You know, a few fighters have ever done that. And then all of a sudden, you know, the stuff with the hand wraps come out. So he definitely needs this fight in order to redeem himself. Well, the fight happens and Kodo keeps his distance. Uh, he, he boxes him very, very well. He gets in, he gets out, he pumps that jab in. But you can see he's putting a little extra oomph on his left hooks and his right hands when he's firing in there. I gave Cotto the first three rounds. I had, uh, in the fourth round, Margarito closed the gap a little bit, started landing some shots there. Everything was going fine there. Uh, Cotto takes control back, really takes control back in the sixth round. And that's where you can see him starting to tee off on that eye. The eye starts to get worse on Margarito. But Margarito's defense has never been known as uh, anything better than okay. Not good, just okay. And Cotto really starts teeing off, pump, pumping those jabs in and the left hooks on that right eye. He also landed some very solid right hands, and it looked like Margarito was uh, stunned a few times in there. And finally and eventually and thankfully, you know, the ref stops the fight. Could have stopped it in the eighth round, but decided to let it go another round. And then after the ninth round, you know, it was just too much. There was too much damage done to that eye. And with Margarito's past problems, you know, he could could be blind if, if the fight continues, especially taking extra damage to that eye because he wasn't blocking the hooks. And Cotto was putting some stank on him when he was landing him. So now that the fight's done, you start looking at it and what's next for Cotto? And in that, it could be a huge uh, fight with Saul Alvarez. Maybe even uh, you could see the uh, the James Kirkland fight. I think uh, Chavez Jr. is too big for him. I don't think that'll happen, but pff, no one Aram, you know, since he said he's going to be with Aram forever, Aram's like, okay, I'll get a payday out of you, bro. You know, that kind of deal. So you're kind of worried about that. But we'll see. I mean, it, he looked good. And it, it's just one of those you were, you were wondering the whole time, when's he going to break down? When's he going to give in to the pressure for Margarita? When's he going to do this? When's he? And it never happened. So you really have to like the fact that Cotto was able to hang in there, continue to take the pressure, and do what he did. So maybe, you know, he got a couple miles back. I don't know. Eh, retread on the tires kind of deal. Over Margarito, I think he's going to retire. I think this was the last fight we'll ever see out of Margarito. 
because that eye, you can't take a chance with that eye. And especially if you're just not going to make your defense better. You know, you know, even Mickey with Rocky was like, we need to protect that bad eye. You know, and he taught, and you know, he went back to fighting, uh, fighting right-handed, you know, to kind of protect his other eye. So I guess Margarita would switch. Why would you do that? Because you put the right eye right in the path of the left hand. So, you know, he's in trouble, you know, and he really needs to get his defense better if he was ever going to fight again. And who would he fight next? I don't know. There's probably a lot of guys out there that would love to have a rematch with him. You know what I mean? To say, hey, bro, you didn't beat me, man. You know what I'm saying? That kind of deal. Like a Paul Williams, maybe, or... Did Paul Williams beat him? Did he beat him, McGuardo? Is that on right on your card? Who knows? I don't know. Kermit Cintron? Yeah, probably Cintron. Anyway, you know, I think Margarito's done. So please comment, rate, subscribe. And I totally apologize for this, but this is like the fifth time I've shot this video. You wouldn't think that with the way I had to ask about the Williams or the Cotto or uh, Cintron stuff, but I just kind of threw my notes out the window and figure I'd just wing this one. <laughs> anyway, hey, it's Big Ragu. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Be my friend. Be Aguardo's friend, all right? I'm out.